that I gave into the TikTok shop because this perfume, bitch. If you want to smell like money, try one of these perfumes. I got the goods. up my doves and welcome back to another video so as you can see from the intro i wanted to show you guys the rave about the arabian perfumes that's all over social media i have seen um, the trend about these arabian perfumes but i have to be honest i just was not into trying out these perfumes because I have been that girl who basically just likes to buy popular perfumes from brands that I am familiar with and I just did not have a desire at all to try these Arabian perfumes. But I decided to take the dive because I'm tired of going on TikTok and all I see on my feed is about these Arabian perfumes. So what I did y'all was I went on Amazon and I searched up all the most popular ordered Arabian perfumes and I ended up getting eight perfumes, you guys. So I got a lot of perfumes to review. Here's my little notebook, you guys. Um, I did all of my notes on these perfumes. So I wrote down like um, what people said were the pros and cons of these perfumes. Um, I have the notes here and a lot of the times these Arabian perfumes are actually dupes for um, other popular um, brand perfumes. So I definitely have all that information here. I have not smelled any of these perfumes. So I'm going to be smelling these perfumes with you on camera and I hope that I love them because I know a lot of times on TikTok people can rave and go crazy because a lot of the times these influencers are sent products and they just get on camera and say, oh my gosh, you have to buy it when it's really not that serious. And I would never do that to y'all. So I just want to give y'all my honest review on these perfumes. And we're going to start from the least popular to the most popular. Okay. This first perfume, after doing my research on it, I wasn't too um, excited for this one um just because the notes and the pros and cons i'm like i don't know if i'm gonna like this and again we're going from least popular to most popular and y'all know me i'm going to chop and screw up a name for sure um but this one is called cashmere chop hard and this is how the box looks pretty red for the upcoming um Valentine's Day and this is a Eau de Parfume and let's go ahead and get before I open up this box let's go ahead and get into the information on this so it already starts off that this perfume is strong and feminine and it says it's an amber vanilla with top notes of peachy coconut mango bergamot and fruits Middle notes are geranium, jasmine, floral notes, and lily of the valley. Base notes are vanilla, amber, sandalwood, musk, patchouli, and woodsy notes. Launched in 92. So that was kind of like, um, you know, the fact that this is an older perfume. <laughs> but I was excited to know that some um, similar perfumes that we all know of is Angel by, um, I think it's Mugler Theory, which I love their alien perfume. That's like one of my favorite scents and I, I've smelled Angel before and I actually loved it. So that got me excited. Um, another dupe is Pink Sugar, which I know you guys have smelled Pink Sugar. It's very sweet and candied. Um, but oh, well actually this is the Pink Sugar Sensual, so I've never smelled that. Um, Cashmere Donna Karen, Burberry by Burberry, and then um, I think this is La Oudisi Dizzy by Izzy Miyake. Y'all know I'm chopping and screwing it up, but yes, I know for that it's Izzy Miyake, which I think I, I've smelled that scent before and I liked it. So anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and get into the actual bottle so overall packaging is great love on um, the box 
and let's see how the actual bottle looks. So this is how the bottle looks, very nice and feminine. The perfume is gold. Love the packaging on this for sure. Very pretty. I took a shower earlier and got all perfumes and body sprays off of me so that I don't have no perfumes on and that I can actually truly smell these scents. Okay, so I can't smell it through the bottle, so let's see. So let's see. You know what I'm gonna do, you guys? I'm gonna spray it on some paper. How about that? I wish I had them little um, perfume little papers that they have in the store, but I ain't got that. So we about to take a sheet of paper and spray it on here. Okay, let's see. This, um, I don't know y'all. Um, I definitely smell the amber and the vanilla. It's definitely giving like a, um, a fruity vibe. I definitely am not getting Angel um, by Theory Mugler or Muggler. Um, it smells good. It definitely reminds me, I do, um, it definitely reminds me of like a more sophisticated, you know, auntie perfume. Um, it's a very sweet smelling perfume. I'm almost getting like a cinnamon vibe to it, which I don't see in the notes. I am getting the sandalwood and the musk and the patchouli. I do smell that. Um, and I do smell jasmine. Is this something that if I was in the store and trying perfumes and I smelled that, I would definitely not pick this up. Um, yeah, so very interesting. Um, yeah, with this one will probably be um, given to one of my aunties for real or my grandmother because this is not really like a nice flirty um, younger scent. It's a very like sophisticated yo auntie and, and it doesn't it doesn't have like a unique scent to it if that makes sense. It's just like I don't know, very lackluster. So yeah, you guys, this is Cashmere Chopper. Oh, okay. And then I have another paper here where I wrote the pros and cons. So first of all, I feel like this scent is not given because they came out with this back in 91 and people are still on um, Amazon purchasing this. So the pros from a lot of people, they said it's nice, smooth and elegant scent. It is, but it's a very older, sophisticated scent. Um, it's a good price point, which um, I will leave the price point somewhere here, how much I paid for this. And um, it lasts all day, and there's a vanilla, a true vanilla aroma, which it's a nice vanilla aroma. I mean, it's a cool vanilla aroma, but it's still too, like, old, old for me. The cons, some say too sweet for some. Um, not as gourmand as some expected, um, which is very true. It's more of a spicy gourmand. It says a sharp synthetic edge, a plasticky opening, and weird and unsettling. And I, that's what I'm getting from this. This, this I would never wear. I mean, now that it's drying down, y'all. It's like, I'm definitely getting the vanilla to this. This is like something you will wear to like an elegant ball or something like that. Like a, like a freaking, not even a wedding, just some kind of like very, uh, this is almost giving me like a nice business, um, a business event type of scent. This is not like a fun scent at all, if that makes sense. Okay, moving on, cause we got a lot. Um, so the next perfume is by Crown Perfumes and it's called Soft. And this is how the packaging looks. Okay, so a little bit about this perfume. Let's see. Y'all, I did all my little notes today. I felt like I was back in school. Notes for this perfume are 
vanilla and sandalwood well first of all here's the here's a description so vanilla and sandalwood charms along with a little citrus will open up their arms at the beginning the scent of orange blossoms together with chocolate full of bitter roasted almonds in there in this gently flowing perfume will bind you and like a delicate cobweb intervene with a touch of lemon so this is already giving me like it's going to be a nice gourmand scent and then let's see the pros and cons of this perfume so i wrote a lot for this one you guys so it says first of all i noticed a lot of people were saying be careful with this one because a little goes a long way a lot of the arabian perfumes have oils in them and this one does um, the pros are it's affordable, longevity, and sillage. Um, guaranteed to project over five meters. <laughs> um, smells like vanilla cookies, so I, I already feel like I'm going to love this. It's a gourmand scent. It leaves a nice scent trail. Very potent. Can cause, a, I think, anosmia. And when I looked that up, it basically means it's so strong. And if you put on too much, you might lose like your sense of smell and everything from this. Um, the cons are it's a very gourmand scent. So if you are not a sweet scent girl, stay far from this scent. Um, it says that it has a similar a scent that's similar to other perfumes. Um, and it's not alcohol based. It is oil based and it's a very feminine scent. I don't know why that's a con because I love me a good feminine scent. And the top notes are rosemary, pettigrain, lavender, and neroli. Um, heart notes are, uh, y'all, galbarum, clary sage, geranium, and jasmine. And the base is amber, sandalwood, oak, moss, vetiver, vetiver, and cedar. And this is one of TikTok's top fave picks. And it says that a dupe is the Aqualina Pink Sugar. And I think you guys have probably all smelled that. I will leave a picture of it here. So let's see what is given. So this is how the bottle looks. Nothing too special in my opinion. And let's smell it. I cannot smell it through the bottle, you guys. And at this point, I'm just going to like spray as we go down on my clothes, just spray somewhere because the paper, I'm gonna end up wasting so much paper. So let's see. Ooh, it's strong, you guys. <laughs> that almost took my nose out. This is definitely giving me that pink sugar vibe, but like times 10 with um more of a vanilla. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is definitely a dupe <clears throat> for that pink sugar perfume, but just imagine a more powerful version of it. Yeah, and I can definitely see how you can lose, and let me not smell it no more, how you can lose um, your sense of smell because it's definitely a strong smell and it's so lovely that you want to keep sniffing and sniffing and sniffing. So I'm not going to smell it no more. But yeah, this, if you are into a nice vanilla scent, that candied vanilla gourmand scent, and you know how pink sugar smells and you like it, you will love this one. This is a, definitely a very feminine scent. Um, and a little goes a long way. I would probably put this on my pulse points maybe a little um, on my ankles or something, and I'm good. Like, I would not be spraying. This is not a perfume to spray all over, but it smells good. But I'm definitely getting that vibe of you keep smelling it, and then, like, your sense of smell is gone. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, this one is called Soft. This is definitely a dupe for pink sugar. Mm, that's strong, you guys. Okay, the next perfume that we have is called Fidelo Perfume, and it is a pheromone. And I am not too familiar with pheromones, you guys. All I know is that supposedly pheromones are supposed to work with your, the, your body chemistry, and they're supposed to attract like people to you and put you in a, in a good mood. So, of course, I wrote down, it says... This is what the description of this says. Every drop of Fidelo perfume 
awakens your inner confidence, radiating unparalleled charm. Fall in love with yourself, exude more confidence, and become a magnet for others. Those around you will be irresistibly drawn to your charm, layered with other perfumes. So I don't know if you guys have seen all the videos, of course, on TikTok, where the women are putting on this pheromone perfume and, you know, their boyfriend, husband, whoever is just drawn to them because that's what a pheromone, pheromone perfume is supposed to do. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So anyway, um, this is very popular. This is highly bought on TikTok. Um, I did see a lot of people say there's no such thing. They don't, they, you can't put pheromones into um, a perfume. But again, a lot of people buy this on Amazon. All these perfumes I got off the of Amazon. Um, so I just decided let's try it out and see. So this one, it says the pros are, it's a nice smell. It's effective, changes the changes in scent because again, it goes off of your body chemistry. So it smells different on everyone. It says the cons are some people experience a red residue on the skin after, after application. Um, overdosing can cause people to feel irritable, agitated, or gloomy. Y'all, I was like, I don't even know if I want to try this, if it's going to be doing all that. Um, it says these perfumes are supposed to increase sociability, boosting self-esteem, and elevating mood. And then this scent in particular is supposed to smell like zesty almond latte, which to me, obviously, this is a sweet gourmand scent. And it says she remembered, and this was like their slogan on this, she remembered who she was and the game changed. I'm like, ooh. So let's go ahead and smell. And y'all, that soft that I just sprayed here, yeah, that stuff is like, oh, it's about to make me dizzy. Um, or it could be the coffee because I ain't ate all day. Um, and all I had was caffeine. But yeah, that stuff is strong. I don't think I would ever wear that out in public because that stuff is like, oh. Okay, so it comes in this little bag. And it says Fidelo for the brand. I'm a little scared, y'all. And then this is how it looks. It looks like this freaking magic potion. Oh, my gosh. What have I purchased? And let's see. And with these perfumes, they do them like roller balls for whatever reason. And you're supposed to put it like on your, um, like the, your pulse points or whatever. So I'm just going to put a little on my wrist here. And let's see. Mmm, it's a nice light scent, you guys. I was just expecting to smell something just overpowering and crazy, but no. It's a very pretty, nice scent. Okay. Mm, yeah, this smells good. This does smell good. I did do my research on these perfumes, and they say do beware, though, about these because um, if you put too much on, it almost gives like a must smell, um, and then it starts smelling like you ain't took no shower. So just be careful with these perfumes. A little goes a long way. Don't keep over applying this. So yeah, um, this definitely smells good. I would highly recommend this one. I see why it's popular. It's just a very pretty scent. Y'all, I could not find any notes on this, so I can't even tell you. But the description that it smells like a zesty almond latte, I'm not getting that at all. I don't know who came up with that description. This is like more of a very just pretty um, perfume scent. I can't even explain what it smells like. It's a very sweet scent, but it's definitely not giving me no zesty almond. I don't know, but that is Fidelo. And I feel like you can put this on all over and I don't feel like it would be like overpowering like that soft. I'm scared of that soft perfume, you guys. That one is like, ugh. Okay, so the next couple of perfumes that I have are super popular. These perfumes I've seen just on TikTok like crazy. Anyone who reviews an Arabian perfume, these next ones, I'm pretty sure when I show you guys the bottles, you guys are going to know or you probably already have them in your collection. So we are going to start off with this one. And this is called Harim 
all sultan and this is like the gold version i believe um packaging is interesting it has all these hearts all over it and it does say that this is a concentrated oil perfume so the box to me cheaply made but hey what do you expect when you getting perfume under a hundred dollars it i don't even think this was close to 50. Um, but this is how the bottle looks and y'all i'm already smelling this um out of the bottle so this is how it looks very like royalty okay and then there's something else in this box. I'm wondering what this is. What is this? Oh, they gave me a sample, you guys. So I'll give this to somebody, but it's an ex a sample of the same exact perfume, I believe. Yep, interesting. Okay, so, well, you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm going to use... How you spray this thing i ain't got time okay so let's go ahead and get into the deets of this perfume so it says that this one the notes are the top notes are jasmine bergamot and peony the middle notes are pineapple peach and plum base is musk patchouli and sandalwood this did come out in 2023 you guys and let me tell you this is just over this is at nauseum all over tiktok and it says for women pursuing romantic freedom whatever that means perfume oil and the only um similar thing i could find that this smells like there was no actual perfume it just says smells like pixie sticks candy filled straw so i thought that that was super interesting then the pros of this were it smells amazing it's refined and sophisticated um and a lot of people it says a lot of people's favorite scent and the cons were just that the packaging is cheapy and i can definitely attest to that even though this looks good from afar up close you could tell that this is very plasticky <laughs> plasticky looking so yeah they could definitely upgrade um on the packaging for sure now let's go ahead and smell this oh so this is an actual like oil oil literally just dip it in there and put it on your skin so i'm just gonna smell this you guys <clears throat> Okay, let me put a little on my hand so I can tell you guys. If you are a fruity girl, you will love this scent. This is definitely a fruity vibe all day. And again, let me go back to the notes. <clears throat> um, so it's pineapple, peach. So the top notes are jasmine, bergamot, and peony. But I'm really smelling those middle notes, you guys, which are pineapple, peach, and plum. Yeah, this one smells good. So far, out of all the ones I've smelled thus far, this one I can deal with. This one, I don't feel like it's overpowering. And it definitely is like a nice, fun scent. I would say this one is more of like giving me summer vibes all day because it's super fruity but it smells good i wonder what i can pair this with with my body mist mm, so so far this is my favorite you guys okay y'all if you know you know my camera cut off so i had to let it um cool down for a little bit but while my camera was cooling down i had time for this um what is this one called I had time for the Harim El Sultan, <laughs> Sultan to dry down. And you guys, I definitely understand what the rave is about. Um, this just has a scent that I ain't never smelled before. It is working with your girl's chemistry. And I, this, I will be definitely wearing. Like at first I was like, okay, it's giving a fruity vibe, but on dry down y'all, this is where it's at it just has this like pretty feminine and it just this unique scent that i cannot explain 
and this is that girl. This is definitely giving that girl. And the boys will be all up in your yard with that one. <laughs> so now the next perfume, I'm super excited to review because I was just so sick of seeing this bottle on social media. And I'm like, you know what? I got to get it. So they have like three different versions of this perfume. There's a white, a pink, and an orange bottle. I was able to get the pink and the white. Um, the pink, the white of the big bottle and the pink one, I can only get the little roll on because that pink one is like the number one scent. And I know you guys are like, well, what are you talking about? So this one is called the Latafa. That's the brand. Or is it Yara? Yeah, Latafa Yara. And this is the Moy. And I'm probably saying that so wrong, but this is how the perfume box looks. And then as soon as I show you guys the bottle, if you don't have this already, you're going to like be like, oh, okay, yeah, I've seen this everywhere. So this is how the bottle looks. And you guys have probably seen that pink one and the orange one. I've seen a few people with this one, but what, ugh, what really made me purchase this white one is this girl was on TikTok and she was literally in her car spraying this all over herself like she was going crazy. And she's like, she just gets so many compliments and she works like in a medical office. So obviously it's not an overpowering scent because you definitely can't wear scents like that working in the medical field. So this one, the top notes are jasmine and peach. So I already know that I should love this. The middle notes are caramel and amber and the base is patchouli and sandalwood. And it says that this scent is supposed to be suitable for all occasions. And this came out in 2022. And let's see y'all. Hold up. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. Let's get that dry down going. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, this is pretty, you guys. Mm -mm. Now I'm like, I don't know which one is my favorite. This one to me um, is more feminine. This one to me is more feminine than that Harim El Sultan. This one is giving me more of a pretty, like pretty girl vibe. And um, this says that the pros are, did I give you guys the thing? Yeah, so the pros for this one is sparkling and sweet, which I'm definitely getting, and that it lasts all day. And it's a meticulously crafted perfume that will turn heads. And I definitely get that. And it says no cons. I could not find no cons on this perfume. Mmm, this smells so good, you guys. Um, I did have someone, I did look on TikTok and someone made a comment that this is supposed to be like a chocolate um, musk scent. And I don't, I don't know. Like, it's so hard to pinpoint what I'm smelling with these Arabian perfumes. I just know what I like and what I don't like. And this one smells really, really good. Let me go back to the notes. So I definitely am getting jasmine. If you are not a fan of jasmine, don't buy this because this is jasmine out the game. Um, and caramel and amber. I'm definitely, yeah, I am getting that ca that caramel, that middle, um, the middle of caramel. I'm definitely getting that. Yeah, this is an overall very pretty scent, you guys. It's going to definitely turn heads. It's very sweet. It's very feminine. I'm definitely getting the floral, the jasmine in it, the amber. And I would highly recommend this one. So, so far, um, the Latafa Yara Moy. I, uh, yeah, or I'm sorry, the Yara Latafa Moy. <laughs> one of those is um, my number one so far. This is really a lovely scent you guys and i'm also filling the bottle the bottle is super unique it doesn't look cheapy like that gold one i can definitely put this on my display and it just looks very elegant it will go with the rest of my perfumes and again the price point on this 
was under $50, so I cannot complain about that. But yeah, mm. wow. This Harim Al Sultan, this one is giving unisex with the dry down. I'm getting a powdery. This I feel like could be worn by men as well, but this one is very feminine, very pretty. And yeah, this is going to get a lot of wear out of me. Okay, so the next one, this is another one that the girls have just been raving about. And this is, <laughs> this is called, this is called La Yali Rouge. And this is the packaging. Okay. Now let's open this bad boy up. And you guys have probably seen this bottle everywhere because this is another one that I have seen at nauseum on TikTok. And this is a very pretty, pretty, pretty bottle, you guys. There are jewels going all around this thing. I will give them an A plus on the bottle design of this. Very unique, very pretty, very attractive. If I saw this in a department, if I saw this in a department store, I would be running to try this out because it's a very, very um, alluring um, packaging. So this is um, this is the description, and I put on here "popular" with three exclamation marks. So you, 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 you. <laughs> I can't talk, y'all. La Yali, which is definitely giving me a K Yali. Um, similarity of the name so yay la yali rouge has all the fun and frolics of a cocktail opening with sweet and juicy mango pineapple lemon papaya and floral so a fruity and floral scent the tropical opening sets the tone for the fabulous night ahead and some pros here that i noted um from online is long lasting it's a crowd pleasing scent um, there's no alcohol blast and the cons are it's a very strong and loud scent and it's a floral scent. So if you are not a floral girl, you will not like this one. What this reminds people of is Ariana Grande Cloud, which I am a fan of. Carolina Herrera, good girl. Mason, um, Mason Martin Margella by The Fireplace. So this is should be a very good scent you guys um and then we also got here that is it reminds people of what uh, it remind it also reminds people of ysl black opium which i never smell so let's see oh this is another oil you guys another oil so i'm just gonna pull up my sleeve so i can put this on y'all this uh <laughs> This one right here, I'm sorry, I can't wear this. I mean, this is so strong, you guys. And now that it's dried down, it's giving me a very powdery old lady scent. So yeah, that, that is a no-go. And I'm not even gonna list it down below for you guys. I'm only listing the ones that I actually like <laughs> down in the, in the description box. So let's see. Let's put this on. So I could tell y'all my initial opinion on this. Mm. So the initial smell of it is it's a very fruity perfume. Am I a fan of fruity perfumes? I'd rather go for florals. Um, but again, I'm gonna let this dry down. It doesn't smell bad, but I'm gonna let it dry down and then let you guys know how I really feel about it. But so far, it's definitely, it smells very familiar. Am I getting Ariana Grande Cloud? Maybe like at a 5% level. So definitely is not Ariana Grande Cloud. So don't go running to order this thinking you're getting the dupe for that. But it smells good. Is it my favorite? No, I think those other two are better than this scent. But again, I'll give you guys my final opinion once this thing dries down. So the next one is called Fakar, Fakar Latafa, and this is another Latafa perfume. So 
Um, I did, so the brand is Latafa. So the first one I showed you guys with the white bottle, which is my favorite, that's called the Latafa and the scent is Yara. And this is also by Latafa and the scent is, um, the scent is Fakar. Fall car. I feel so funny saying that, you guys. And this is the box, the packaging. It looks like a little book, very elegant. Ooh, the top is off. No child. And then here's how the perfume looks. Very elegant. Love the presentation of this. How the packaging is. It does not feel cheap. It feels like a nice gift that you can get somebody. And this is how, ooh, I really like this bottle. This is how the bottle looks. It has this leather trimming going around and this cute scallop design on the back. Nothing cheap about this bottle at all. So this is another bottle similar to this one that I can definitely feel proud putting on my perfume display. So there we go for that. And then let's get some information on this one. So it says that this is light and fruity. The top notes are woo aldehydes, which I believe is some type of flower, lilies, pomegranates, and fruits. The heart note um, is the heart note revels in floral bouquet of roses, jasmine, and gardenias. The skillful finish is provided by a long-lasting base of vanilla, sandalwood. Um, and Broxen and White Musk, and it's a dupe for El Interdit by um, Givenchy. It's also a dupe for YSLY and the Sheet of Nishan Ani. I have never smelled any of those perfumes, but if you have those, that's what this is supposed to smell like. Uh, so the pros are this is supposed to be a fresh and clean scent. It's a versatile scent. It's sweet aromatic and fruity, warm and leaves an intrig intriguing trail. And then the cons are it's not a seductive scent. We don't always need to be seductive. Um, not sweet. It's a not sweet, fruity, floral blend. Okay, so it's not a sweet scent. It's a fruity, floral blend, I believe. And it's a has a strong jasmine scent. I love jasmine. So I'm super excited to try this and it's a mature and strong scent, which I'm scared of because I love a good strong scent, but mature, I don't know. So we about to find out y'all. But so far this packaging is like the number one packaging out of all the ones that I've seen thus far. This is very, given a, a, a Saks Fifth, Neiman Marcus type of perfume vibe. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to try this other arm. And let's spray. Ooh. Oh. Every time I think I found my favorite, the next one is my favorite. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I found it. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, this this one, this one, y'all. We gonna wait for the dry down, but this one is given. Okay, so while we wait for the dry down, I'm gonna go back to my girl right here and see how I'm feeling it now that it is nice and good into my skin. Yeah, this is okay. This is not really giving anything that's like, oh my gosh, y'all, y'all have to go and get this. Um, it's not that strong. It's giving me like a, a light floral fruity scent. And yeah, I, I've seen this so many times, you guys, on TikTok and I'm not understanding. And maybe it's my body chemistry, but it's just the scent is not giving anything unique. It's not, it's just... I don't know. I, I'm not feeling it, you guys. Maybe later on, I'll come back to you guys on another video and say, hey, my opinion has changed, but I don't know. Let me know, you guys, if you have this and how you're feeling about it, but it's just not, it's not, it's not given for me. But this one, <laughs> this one is giving me the vibes. Yeah. 
I, I get the sophisticated, but it's a good sophisticated. And this is a very sweet scent. And I know I love it really because it is full of jasmine. Oh, I'm going to love this one. I'm going to love layering this with stuff. This even smells like this will go good with the Prada Paradox. Y'all know how I am about that Prada Paradox. And this is giving that vibe. It's giving that type of um, perfume family. So, yeah. And the Prada Paradox has a strong jasmine scent as well. But this, I'm going to have fun with her. So, <laughs> love 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 this one let me make sure i told you guys all about it and as far as this one let me see this one is definitely i'm trying to look at the notes it's, i'm definitely smelling vanilla in this roses i get that i get the roses i do get that i get the um gardenias it's definitely a very nice floral scent. If you are a floral girl and you don't mind jasmine, you're going to love this. This is nice, you guys. And I can't get over this bottle. For how much I paid for this, which was really nothing, this bottle is so elegant. Ah, love it. Okay, so we actually have one more perfume, and this is like the number one popular perfume i was not able to get the actual spray bottle of this because everybody and their mama has ordered this out on amazon and it would have took like over a week for me to get the actual perfume so i was only able to get the perfume oil roller which is fine because if i love it then i'll go back and get the actual big bottle but i just want to share it with you guys and then i'll also at some point leave well actually it's really pretty much it's this. It's this bottle, but the pink version, which is like super popular. If you go on TikTok and you search up Arabian perfumes, that pink bottle is gonna come up first. But I was only able to get this little roll on, sadly. So anyway, um, for my girls who may just want the roll on, this is free from alcohol. This So this is a straight perfume oil. And let's get into the deets of this one, honey. This one is, um, it says a woman's perfume with floral undertones and soft musk. The top notes are orchid, heliotrope. I know I'm probably saying that wrong. And tangerine. The middle no notes are gourmand accord. Mm -hmm. And tropical fruits. And the base is vanilla musk and sandalwood. A lot of these perfumes all have sandalwood and patchouli. So if you are not a fan of that, I wouldn't even recommend that you use a um, Arabian perfume because a lot of them do contain that. Um, let's see. Okay, y'all. So, of course, again, this camera likes to overheat. All of these lights that I use to film. So like I was saying, don't even remember what I was saying. Pros are it's affordable. It's a light scent that lasts eight hours, you guys, and it's sweet, powdery, feminine, and an everyday wear. And the cons are, which made no sense to me, it lacks longevity. But the, but the pro was that it is a long-lasting scent. So which one is it? Um, again, this is a dupe, and it says here that this is a dupe for Dior Poison, Prada Candy. I smell Prada Candy, and I love it. Um, Viva La Juicy and Strawberry Milkshake or Vanilla. So this is one that I think that I am going to love. Let's go ahead and smell this one, you guys. I got a bunch of scents on me. So let me try. <laughs> we'll try right here. No, I think I put something there. We'll try here. Let's try up here. Okay. Let's see. So the initial, my initial opinion. Okay, it is a very light scent. And since this is an oil, I'm just going to go ahead and rub it in. And let's see. Oh, yeah. Definitely see why the girlies like this scent. Ooh, that smells so good. Now I'm mad because I couldn't get my hands on that dang bottle. <laughs> this smells so good, you guys. The girlies on TikTok 
A lot of them say it just has a strawberry, gourmandy, vanilla scent, like a milkshake, and it is giving all that, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh. <laughs> that is it. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I cannot stop smelling my arm, you guys. This is it. And it figures that I would only be able to get the little roll on, even though this is powerful in itself. This is a straight oil. Oh, that smells good. Oh, this is one that I would drown myself in and probably get on people's nerves, but I don't care because guess what? I smell good. <laughs> This is it, you guys. Like I said, it says a strawberry milkshake or a vanilla milkshake, and this is what this is giving. This don't smell like no Prada candy. This smells about a thousand times better than that. Oh, and then as it dries down, you get more of that strawberry and vanilla. This is like a good Valentine's Day date night perfume for real. Yeah, so I will definitely be putting my order in for the big spray bottle because this is it, you guys. Oh my gosh, okay? And again, as when I go to edit this video, you guys will see all the names of these perfumes because I know that I'm saying these completely, pronouncing these completely wrong. But yeah, this one, OMG. Now, I'm going to smell this one again one more time on my arm. So I can make sure that how I feel about it is how I feel. Yeah, no, no. So let's do a recap of all of these perfumes. So the first one I showed you guys is Cashmere Chopper. And this is going to be a no for me. I feel like this is for... Um, this is a very elegant older scent, like maybe when I'm in my like 60s, I would put something like this on, maybe not even my 60s because my mom is 60 and she is very young at heart and I can't even see her wearing a scent like this, maybe in my 70s. Um, I would wear a scent like this. This is just giving a very classic scent that you smelled on your aunt's, um, in your aunt's collection back in like the 90s. So again, this was, is a popular scent, um, on Amazon, but this came out in 92 and it's definitely giving me a 92 vibe for real. So this would be a hard no. Okay. The next one is, um, this soft scent by All Rehab, Crown Perfumes. Um, this one is going to be a hard no as well for me because this scent, I feel like it will eventually give me a migraine. Like out of everything that I put on, I'm really smelling this up here on my arm and it's becoming annoying. So although this is a great soft vanilla scent, um, and I know a lot of us like that cookie vanilla scent, this is just at a point of being annoying, um, and I just don't like it. It is, it's like one of those annoying scents. So this is a hard no for me. Okay, so the next one is Harim El Sultan, Sultan Gold. This one is a yes for me. This has a very unique scent. It's given a very unisex scent, but it's still feminine without being too feminine. So I'm definitely gonna say a yay for this one. Let me smell it one more time. No, that was that other one. Yeah, this is a good scent. It's not overpowering. It's a light scent now that it's dried down. So you can put a lot of this on, I think, and you should be okay. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and recommend this one, you guys. And I'm going in order from the ones I didn't like to the ones that I like. And then, of course, the last one will be my favorite. But yeah, go ahead and try this one out. I think you girlies will like this one. Okay, um, the next one, actually, I forgot about this one, you guys. This Layali Rouge, and this is going to be a no for me. Um, this scent is not unique at all. It's very lackluster. It's almost giving me like a Garnier, light Garnier scent. I was expecting so much more from this scent. I don't know if it's my body chemistry, but I just, it's not... I'm shocked because they went all out and above with the bottle, with the packaging, 
and it's not giving for me. So this is going to be a hard no. Okay, so the next one is Fakar Latop. Oh my gosh, you guys, these names are killing me. Latafa, Fakar Latafa. This one is that girl, love it. You love Jasmine, you're gonna love this one. This is a purchase. I'm very happy with this purchase. This is one that I will definitely be wearing that I don't see myself getting tired of and that I can definitely layer with some body mist, some Sol de Janeiro scents. This is really great. I love the packaging. I love the design. This just looks like a hell of an expensive bottle. It feels expensive. It's kind of heavy. And I'm really feeling this. So if you are a floral jasmine girl, pick this up. This is going to be a yes, yes, yes for me. And the next one that we have here is Yara by Latafa. This is amazing. I really, really love this scent, you guys. This is like a very pretty feminine scent. It's given like a classic feminine scent. It definitely smells like something I smelled before. It's almost giving me like a blossom. What are the notes on this one? Cause this is smelling jasmine and peach. I, I don't know if I smell the peach in this one. It has caramel and amber, patchouli and sand sandalwood. And this is definitely a vibe. This is just like when you wanna feel pretty and you know you feel pretty and you wanna smell pretty as well, this is that girl. This is mm, lovely, lovely, lovely. So yeah, this is def a definite, definite yes for me okay okay so lastly we have the yara y'all i gotta look the yara latafa moy no no this is just the the yara latafa this is i think the original scent and this is the perfume roll on this is my number one scent you guys i am in love with this one out of everything i bought this is the number one scent right here. I see why this is all over TikTok and you see that pink bottle everywhere because this is it. It is definitely a gourmand scent. I'm getting the vanilla, the strawberry. This is amazing, you guys. I totally forgot about this pheromone perfume. So this one, I would definitely tell you guys to go ahead and purchase. If you want that attention that it claims that you're gonna get or people attracted to you or just to boost your confidence, that's what it claims. It has a nice, pretty um, scent. So I would highly recommend it. Um, definitely, I will let you guys know how I feel about pheromone. This is my first one. So I'll let you know if I'm being attacked as I'm going outside um, and being out in the world. But yeah, this is not bad. If you just want something that works with your chemistry and that changes, um, that cha that works with your chemistry and the scent changes throughout the day, I would say go ahead and try it. It was inexpensive, so I, I recommend it. But this one right here, the Yara Pink Bottle, this is that girl. This is number one. Um, so I'm actually happy with all my purchases, you guys. I got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I can't count you guys. I got five perfumes out of eight that I really, really like. The others I will definitely be giving away. Um, but yeah, so I feel like I got my money's worth. If I would have bought all these perfumes from some of our favorite brands, I probably would have spent way over a thousand dollars. So I'm happy you guys and I will definitely leave below the ones that I love so that you guys can purchase these also and if you have any of these in your collection let me know if you have some other um, Arabian perfumes that I didn't mention that are fire please let me know that as well because I'm now a little more interested in these Arabian perfumes okay you guys know that I always like to close out this video with an encouraging word that God has given to me and today um, a word that definitely was encouragement for me um, is out of Psalms and this is chapter 55 verse 22 and this is, give your burdens to the Lord and he will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. And that really was something that I needed to hear today because, you know, I'm going through a life transition and sometimes I can feel like overwhelmed and feel like there's so many hurdles to get to where I need to go. But God in this hour gave me this scripture. I just felt full of relief and I just felt peace 
when I read this, that anything that you're going through, that you're worried about, and that you just don't see a way out, those are burdens that God wants you to give to him and you enjoy your life. You live in peace because he will get you through those burdens when you let go and let him and let his will take over. So that's just a little something of encouragement for you guys that really helped me today as I was battling through some things. But anyways, my doves, I hope you guys are doing well. I love all of you. If you are new here, girl or guy, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the BJD Gang Gang. I love you guys. I'm praying for you all that you guys are doing well in spirit. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.